Hi guys, it's me again Angie and welcome to another video. For today's video, I'm going to discuss you about the summary of chapter 10 for tutorial application layer. So, applications such as web browsers, online gaming, chatting with with chatting with and emailing friends enable us to send and receive data with relative ease. Typically, we can access and use these applications without knowing how they work. However, for networking professionals, it is important to know to know how an application is able to format, transmit, and interpret messages that are sent and received across the network. Visualizing the mechanisms that enable communication across the network is made easier if we use the layered framework of the OSI model. In this chapter, we will explore the role of the application layer and how the applications, services, and protocols within the application layer make robust, robust communication across data networks possible for the application layer application layer is closest <coughs> is closest to the end user it is the layer that provides the interface between the applications used to communicate and the underlying network over which messages are transmitted application layer protocols are used to exchange data between programs running on the source and destination host. The upper three layers of the OSI model, such as application, presentation, and session, define functions of the single TCP or IP application layer. There are many application layer protocols, and new protocols are always being developed. Some of the most widely known application layer protocols include hypertext trans transfer protocol, are the HTTP file transfer protocol, the FTP, or and then the trivial file transfer protocol are the TFTP, the Internet Message Access Protocol or the EMAP, and domain name system that is also known as DNS protocol. For presentation and session layer, the presentation layer has three primary functions. <clears throat> These are formatting or presenting data at the source device into a compatible form for receipt by the destination device. <clears throat> Compressing data in a way that can be decompressed by the destination device and Lastly, encrypting data for transmission and decrypting data upon receipt. So, the presentation layer formats data for the application layer and it sets standards for file formats. Some well-known standards for, for video include QuickTime and Motion Picture Experts Group or the MPEG. Some well-known graphic image formats that are used on networks are graphics interchangeable format or the GIF, the joint photographic experts group or the JPEG, and the portable network graphics or the PNG format. And lastly, for this chapter, we will discuss the session layer. As the name implies, Functions of the session layer create and maintain dialogues between source and destination applications. The session, the session layer handles the exchange of information to initiate dialogues, keep them active, and to restart sessions that are disrupted or ideal for a long period of time. So, <clears throat> we have discussed about about the application layer and the session layer in chapter 10 uh, that is all for today thank you for watching and see you on my next video